Good morning. Every year I try to grow carrots and every year I fail. It's the carrot fly that get them every single time. Um, if you haven't seen what carrot fly damage looks like, it's like a brown kind of tunneling all through the tops of your carrots working its way down, kind of turns to nasty dusty stuff. Uh, not very nice and you can't eat them. So this year I've got a plan. What I've heard is carrot fly, I don't know whether this is true, but I, I did find several sources of this on the internet, that carrot fly can only fly to about 60 centimetres high, which is about, about that. Um, so my plan is to plant them above that height. What I have got is a flat roofed extension at our house, and I'm gonna put them into buckets like this. And I'm going to put them up onto the flat roof extension and we'll see how we get on with that. I haven't had to buy any carrot seed this year. I've got Autumn King. I've got this nice one. It's called Purple Haze Carrots. Like a purple on the outside and like, it's like a yellow on the inside. Resistor Fly, which I have tried before and it didn't resist a fly at all. And I've got Nance, Nance Five couple of packets of that um, so plenty to be going on with the carrot fly is a right menace it flies around and it lays its eggs in the soil around um, where you've planted your carrots it detects all the smells that's why you shouldn't you should try not to thin them out too much um, and, and it lays the eggs around the carrots and the, the maggots then burrow into the the carrot and ruin it the hen runs a fantastic resource for us getting all this free compost and the hens really enjoy it when uh, we come and dig a bit up because they can scratch around and find all the grubs that are growing underneath Right, I've got six nice buckets of lovely rich compost here, but it's a little bit coarse for planting seeds into, so I'm just going to sprinkle this shop compost on the top for the seeds to go directly into. I'm going to try these purple haze carrots first because they look so nice. I mean, usually the truth is the fancy varieties aren't the best ones when it comes to the eating, but they look nice, don't they? Stick that tag in there. You want to sow your carrot seeds quite thinly. Just going to make a slight drill around the outside. try and avoid thinning them out as much as possible uh, because that's when the carrot fly can detect the smell and that's when they all come so I'm gonna sew them thinner than usual I usually sew things too thickly and don't worry about it too much but I really want to try and get some good carrots this year Of course, if they don't germinate, then you're left with nothing. So it's a bit of a conundrum, really. It's up onto this bit of roof that I'm going to put the buckets of carrots. Uh, I'm going to leave them on the patio just now until I think they're ready to germinate, and then I'll put them up there because the carrot fly aren't going to bother them for now. In the meantime, I'm going to send you up to the allotment with a former version of myself to see what we're doing up there. 
don't know whether you can see behind me through this fence, there's a poplar tree and um, we planted that. This big strip of land at the back isn't part of the allotments, but it's just a kind of piece of wasteland in between the allotments, the border of the allotments and some farmers' fields. So we've been taking trees, um, just little seedlings and saplings that we've found or had. And we've been planting out the back and we've got comfrey in there and we've planted some bulbs in just to make it pretty and you know, naturalise it a bit. There's a poplar out there which we had in our garden. Um, there's two of them, we've planted them out there. Now, at the bottom of it, there are suckers coming up from the ground. Now, I don't know whether you know this, but the poplar is one of the few trees that you can just take off a branch or a sucker like that, and stick it in soil, and it'll root and you can grow another tree from it. Um, so that is what we're going to do um, shortly. Kenny's just ran back down to the house to get, get the ladders so we can get over the fence. We're going to take off those suckers and we're going to plant them into pots and grow them on. And then we will replant those suckers at a later date once they're established with a, a good set of roots. Okay. I'm just going to get a bit of the compost from the compost tip. It's the first of it I've used. I put it in these pots. It's not fully broken down, I don't think. Nearly there though, it's pretty good. I've decided I'm going to mix it in with a bit of topsoil because it really is still pretty coarse. five pots I'm gonna fill. I'm not sure how many saplings we'll get, how many little twigs we'll get off. Five should do it. And that soil is a bit better now for planting them in. after his magnificent feat of acrobatics getting over that fence and that ladder there he's just going to trim off all these um little side shoots coming out at the bottom of this poplar rubbish. they're rubbish are they yeah and apart from anything else these poplars are struggling a bit in this location so um just taking these off will help the main plant you surely meant after my very agile feat of getting over the fence what? My agile feet are getting I said, over. What did I say? Said, some daft, some spectacular. Right, well, carry on. Just cut them off. Um, rambling. That's actually. Now it is actually coming from the base of the tree, that one. Right. So I that gives it, us. I think. Four. I'm going to take that big one into pieces. 
just thought I'd show you what my neighbour at the allotment's done with these old giant sunflower stalks. She'd left them in all winter. Now she's taken them down and made a frame, presumably for her beans. I think that's brilliant, that. I love it. So I've got quite a lot to be going on with here. I've got three little ones. They're fine, just as they are. This big one, I'm going to take each of these little branches off this main stalk. Just it'll give them a better chance to put roots down um, before they die kind of thing. If I put this whole one in, I think it would just die before it managed to get roots down. Unfortunately, the secateurs, or secateurs, secateurs, are as blunt as spoons. But uh, it'll have to do. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to damage the bark a little bit where it's going to be underneath the soil and that will encourage roots to grow. You can't do this with many trees at all. There's only a small handful. Willow is another one that you can do it with. Take off these bottom shoots and then just push it in like that. I've got seven saplings. If I can get two trees out of that, I'll be happy. But you never know, maybe they'll all come good. with my poplar trees and my carrot seed. I'm gonna give it a little water in now, get it started. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you next time, bye.